Okay, this is a continuation of the video I made regarding Shannon Sharp and Eddie Griffin. My question is, to not just Eddie Griffin, but also D.L. Hughley, Mike Epps, um, all of these comedians that came out saying that Shannon Sharp was gay. What if he was gay? What if Shannon Sharp was gay? Then what? What I find to be most interesting is that all of these comedians that's coming out referring to Shannon Sharp as gay, as a homosexual, are the same comedians, the same men, so-called black men, that was vouching to wear a dress. And what did you guys say? It's comedy. We're acting. It's comedy. There's nothing wrong with putting on a dress. But yet, although you say that it's nothing wrong with a so-called black man putting on a dress, you're quick to refer to Shannon Sharp as gay. Now, like I mentioned in the last video, Eddie Griffin is my dude, man. He's, 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 he's one of my favorite comedians. But Eddie Griffin did a skit portraying himself to be Prince. Yes, Prince is a man. But also Prince is androgynous. He's got the image of a male and a female. So is that Eddie Griffin's way of paying a woman without having to wear a dress by portraying himself to be Prince that's androgynous? Now that is a little suspect. Now, D.L. Hughley, D.L. Hughley. These are the same comedians, again, that's that, that defend a black man wearing a dress. What's his name? Marlon White, uh, Wayne, the younger one. What's his name? He came out defending wearing a dress. He was upset. He and his brother played a white woman in White Chicks. And then they like to reference all of the white actors, the men that put on a dress. So because the white man put a dress on, it's okay for you now to put a dress on. And another thing too is like a lot of y'all like to say, like, ain't no wrong being gay. I got family members that's gay. You say you have a son that's gay. You have a daughter that's gay. But yet you're quick to refer to another so-called black man as gay. And Eddie Griffin was looking quite close to notice that Shannon Sharp, not only did he notice Shannon Sharp's tight pants and his balls, but he also noticed the way Shannon, Shannon Sharp was drinking his drink. <laughs> Come on, man. How you gonna talk about Shannon Sharp being gay and you got your eyes on this man's crotch. You looking at this man's lips, how he's drinking his drink. That's suspect to me. Now, I'm not going to say that I know Eddie Griffin is not gay because I don't know the brother. I like his work. And to my knowledge, Eddie Griffin never put on a dress. But he did act as prince, which is androgynous. And if you look at that image of Eddie Griffin disguised as prince, look in his eyes. He felt a bit, he looked like he felt comfortable posing as, as prince, as androgynous. Find that to be interesting. So all of y'all that's talking about 
that you got family members that's gay, you have children that's gay, and there's nothing wrong with being gay. Listen, black people, you have to make up your mind. Either you support the LGBTQ community or you don't. One minute you're acting like you support it. The next minute you're referring to another so-called black man as gay. Which one is it? So is that supposed to be a diss to Shannon Sharp to refer to him as gay? Now, what if the man was gay? If Shannon Sharp was gay, would you then secretly ask that man for his number? Come on now, be honest now. This is grown folk talk. If Shannon Sharp came out and said that he was gay, now what? Are you going to secretly want that man's phone number? Because I'm going to tell you something. You'd be surprised at the dudes that's sitting back eyeballing another man. See, you think they cool with you, but they looking at you in an entirely different way. Right? They looking at you like me. And the moment you come out, I guarantee you the moment Shannon Sharp come out and say he gay, watch the dudes that be on him. The same dudes that sitting there calling him gay now, openly, are the same ones that's going to be trying to get that man's number secretly. Right? So I just thought I had to come on and say that. Now, this is, I'm defending Shannon Sharp. And listen, I'm going to tell you something. People that's been watching my videos since, Fearless 2005 channel, right? You guys already know where I stand when it comes to the LGBTQ community. And you also know that I'm being nice at the way I say it. So I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be politically correct. But those of you that's been following me for a while, you already know that I can get pretty unpolitically correct. You know that I can be completely not politically correct, right? So you know where I stand when it comes to that. But at the same time, I don't like that hypocrisy. Either you're for that community or you're not for that community. You know, don't one minute you're saying like, oh, um, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with being gay. I got family members. I got friends as gay. And then you, now you want to try to criticize another so-called black man, a heterosexual, by referring to him as gay. Make up your mind, black people. Do you support the LGBT community or you don't? But what if Shannon Sharp was gay? How many of these dudes would be trying to get it or get at him? Because we heard about Hollywood now. Right, we heard about Hollywood. So, how many dudes would not try to get with Shannon Sharp behind the scenes? No pun intended. So, feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time, I'm fearless.